Coach, if you want to open up. Sure. Um, obviously, real proud of our guys um, on, a, on a, a special day for a lot of reasons. Obviously, you know, being participants in the NSA tournament is, is a, a special opportunity, but on a day where we honor um, a guy that's really important to our family um, and his family, uh, to get a win, um, you know, for the seniors, their last um, opportunity to play in Maryland State and for them to go out with a win. Um, and candidly, have another week together, um, which we don't take for granted, uh, is really special. Um, to come back from behind and uh, certainly wasn't um, pretty in the first half. And, and Robert Morris was a team that everybody I talked to and, uh, you know, said just glowing things about them. Um, and he turned on the tape, it was no different. And they were exactly what we kind of expected just a, a real tough team, uh, athletic, dangerous, skilled. Um, very competitive and tough, and uh, it took everything we could to, to come back and get a big win. But I'm proud of our, guy, our, our guys. Just uh, the seniors at halftime were poised. Uh, they were confident. Um, they were doing all the right things. So uh, certainly proud of those guys. NPS Nonprofit Services has the technology and know-how to achieve your nonprofit goals. We have all the tools that you need for your nonprofit to be successful, including tech support, consulting, development strategies, and business continuity to make sure your data is safe on-prem or in the cloud anywhere all the time. Call NPS at 877-797-8776. We're easy to reach and easy to work with. Questions? Dan, you made 11 of your 13 saves in that first half. What were they doing offensively? Um, you know, they're a very skilled team. Uh, a lot of Canadian guys who, you know, have been playing box. They have a lot of good stick skills. Um, I think they were just um, moving the ball around. Uh, they had a lot of good dodgers, and they were just kind of getting to good spots and getting shots off. And, um, I just try to try to make as many saves as I could, but my defense did a good job, um, kind of responding, especially in the second half. Coach, you guys turned the game around in like a four-minute span in the third quarter. What did you tell them all at halftime? Um, you know, I, I don't think it was really anything I said. Um, you know, we just we just preached to the guys. There's just a lot of game left. I felt like the, just what the seniors, you know, were talking about there, just approach of things. You know, there was a lot of time left. There was a lot of lacrosse to be played. Um, just make the next play, be positive, um, you know, don't let the first half impact the second half. And, and I, I thought that was a, a good stop at the end for us uh, to, to go into the locker room and, and then just catch our breath. And I really liked, you know, Connor and uh, Matt Newfeld and some of the other guys, obviously Danny here, uh, just were really, really poised, which they've been, and that's kind of their personality. So I think that really helped us. Um, but we, we mentioned that, you know, the first round for us has not always been pretty. Um, in 2014, we had to come back against Cornell. In 15, we had to come back against Yale. Um, and then 16, uh, we had a tough time um, with, with that one. So it, it's not always been easy for us. Last year, Brian kind of came down the wire. We started exams. Last week was our last week of, um, of school. So we definitely practiced at some different times. I think some guys took two exams yesterday. So no excuses. You have to play the way you play. Um, but it's a little bit of a different vibe that you just have to fight through in that first round. And again, this is uh, this is definitely a, a really good team. And uh, everybody that told me they're terrific, uh, they're 100% on. They're, their coaches do a fantastic job. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Connor, can, to build off that a little bit, was there any sort of frustration seeping in late in the first half, and was there a sense of relief in some ways when you go bang, 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 and it suddenly it's tied up there early in the second? Uh, I don't think so, any frustration whatsoever. I think we were poised. we got a calm, collective group. You know, we just get, uh, bring it together, you know. We work on each other, work on our unit offensively and defensively. But that's like the first round. You see a, a bunch of the games yesterday, like they're neck and neck. You have people go on runs, and credit to Robert Morris. They're a great team, top to bottom. They're uh, very stout on defense. But I thought we did a great job answering, you know, and that's what we played for, to compete uh, 60 minutes. So it was awesome today. Anthony, you seem to be the Terp secret, <laughs> uh, secret weapon lately. What's it feel like to come off the bench and start feeding the ball for those goals? 
Uh, I think it's a credit to my teammates. Uh, they're doing a great job moving off ball. They're uh, always getting in the right spots. And I think in that second half, we were just communicating a lot better. And uh, we were just all on the same page. And it's also a credit to the scout guys all week getting us prepared. They're all in our gloves all week, just making sure we're doing the right things all the time. And Coach, can you really talk about that energy Anthony gave in that third <laughs> quarter with those three straight assists that he did? Yeah, I think it, it was a lot of things coming together. I think first and foremost, you look at what we did at the face-off X in the second half. Um, we just got so many more possessions and created some opportunities, and then we started canning some plays, and all of a sudden we got momentum, um, and the game got a little bit faster. I, I thought Robert Morris did a great job. They, they, they play really at two speeds, and, and you saw that. Um, on Wednesday, they will attack you in early offense. They're great in transition, um, and they're really good at creating transition. And everybody on that team, those poles have you know great handles, and they can all score. So we had to get in, <coughs> but they did a really good job. But once they got in, like they were going to get a really good shot, or they were going to bleed that clock down. And we just couldn't get the ball and get much rhythm. I mean, we took three shots in the first quarter. I bet we played 12 minutes of defense. Um, and listen, that's the best defense that you can play is your offense has it. So um, credit to them when we did win some face-offs, we had some silly turnovers. Um, but they were, I thought they were just a step faster than us in the first quarter. They were better on the wings. They were better on ground balls. Um, their pulls are terrific. Um, that is a really good team. Um, and all we had to do was put on the film, like you put on the Penn State film, and you see them like it instantly like you go wow this is a really going to be a really tough first round game but all the games are tough in the in the playoffs there aren't any easy ones anymore we we knew that we told our kids that uh, but I, I think you got to give Robert Morris a lot of credit. They go all the way to Buffalo, they win, and then they come down here, um, and they're taking it to us, you know, after 30 minutes. Um, and you know, just got to tip your hat to them. Connor, what was the biggest difference in the third quarter, just in terms of your ability to seemingly get open and attack that defense? Uh, I thought we were just playing as a unit. Uh, we got a lot of great guys there on offense. But like Anthony said, it's credit to the scout guys all week. We got some uh, some possessions in the second half early, so that was huge for us. But the scout guys gave us a great look. And we just try to execute our game plan. John, why didn't Nick Brzezowski play ahead of Michael Adler fair in his? Um, I thought Michael did a pretty good job. Uh, he, Michael does such a good job for us in so many ways. Um, he's a guy that walked on and um, has worked so hard. Um, <coughs> He's a guy that, like, I remember his first year, he would be working out, like, twice a day. You'd see him, like, he'd be working out in the morning, and then you'd see him later in the day back at near the locker room and be working on a stick. Like, he's a tireless worker. Um, he's really well-liked by his teammates. Um, so he's, he's developed into a really important player for us. Um, so I'm really happy for him. I, I thought one of those goals, he gets an assist, I think, to Connor early in the game. But when Michael makes a play, I think it's, it gives us a little bit more energy just because he's so beloved and he's so respected for how hard he works. Um, Nick got banged up uh, candidly in the um, Rutgers game, uh, and he tried to go uh, against Hopkins and uh, just didn't finish the game. Um, we wanted to see how it went this week. Um, and he just wasn't quite ready, uh, so we, we, we used Michael Moore, and again, I thought Michael did a really good job. Um, so we'll see how he is for next week, but it was definitely an injury more than anything else, no discipline or anything like that. Dan, you had a defensive set where you flexed almost in as an extra defenseman with Corley behind the net. Was that something new for this week to cut off number four? Um, no, it's pretty much, we, we do that a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, it's usually me and Curtis working back there. Um, but we've done that kind of plan before. And um, yeah, that one that they scored on, I just came out too far and uh, let, him, let him get by me. But it's, it's not, nothing, not, not anything new. Yeah. Well, you guys uh, watch that Cornell Cues game as a team. How do you, what's the mindset when you watch a game knowing you have to play one of the two teams? Anyone can hop in on this. Uh, well, I think uh, both the teams are very good. Obviously, on offense and defense, I'm sure we're all going to watch it on, uh, as a team. But you know, we got to focus on school as well this week. So to balance that, to do both, is uh, huge for us. Uh, but it's uh, it's our ability to like just balance. But we're going to watch the game definitely. Anthony, from what you were able to see, just what was the biggest difference in that third quarter, and how much of a boost is it for the offense when Connor's being able to get open looks like he was? Uh, yeah, it's obviously a huge boost for us. I think uh, we did a great job communicating more in that third quarter, and uh, that's kind of what led to our success offensively. I think obviously getting the ball and getting the rhythm was definitely one of the things that led us to uh, get some more goals and more opportunities to test their defense <coughs> a little bit.
And Connor, what the challenges did playing against number 18 pose? He's one of the premier defensemen in the country. Yeah, he's a great player. He's so he's I mean he's like six <laughs> six. I got two guys above six six, so they're very lengthy, uh, lengthy. Uh, so it's tough to beat at some points. But you know, credit to him. That guy's a hell of a player. Coach, were there any adjustments made at halftime in terms of the faceoff acts? Because Justin and Austin had a lot more success in the second half, winning on the clamp, but also a lot of help from the wings as well. Yeah, I think those guys settled down a little bit. Um, you know, it's funny we 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 have a lot of confidence in those guys. Um, we've just been a little inconsistent, but when those guys have been good, um, man, they've been really good. And so we just got to keep working at it. You know, we were kind of in the same spot last year. You know, even the first round last year, uh, Mazza gave us fits, um, and and I thought we responded a little bit late in that game. Um, I thought more than anything else, we were just a little bit better uh, on the ball. I thought like. Justin was winning the clamp, but he didn't exit very clean. He didn't get it to spots, real good spots. And I thought the second half, uh, we just did a better job of picking up the ground ball, popping it to the right spots, and being a little bit cleaner. And, and that was huge for us. Uh, we just had so many more touches. Um, and when, you know, if, if we went one for one, it was hard offensively because if they got it and it was a minute and a half and then they scored and then they won the faceoff, it might be three, four, five minutes. And it's just hard as an offensive player, you're standing down there and to get back into a rhythm. Um, so I think those guys really were huge for our success today. Time for one more. All good? Thanks, everyone. Hey, guys. Robert Thank Morse will be